Today, as you requested, I'll be sharing with you the best settings for Qubit Torrent so that you won't get stuck with endless years of waiting when downloading using Qubit Torrent. Before we start, just a short message from our sponsor. CDKoffers.com is an all-in-one website where you could buy affordably cheap software and games license keys. They offer a vast catalog on their site. Just simply look for whichever software or games you're looking for. Click on the Buy Now button and you should be taken to the order confirmation page. I know their license keys are already cheap but want to make it cheaper? Simply enter DUDE20 which is an exclusive discount code that will give you a 20% discount from your purchases. Then enter your payment details and you should immediately receive the key once the payment has been confirmed. After receiving the key, you can then activate your software or games instantly. That's just how easy it is in CDK offers. Plus, should you encounter any problems or issues, feel free to contact their chat support that will assist you instantly. Well based on my experience. Hey everyone, it's Bing your Tech Dude here. Just a disclaimer, the settings in this video may or may not work for everyone. I've tested the settings on my end and it works. However, there are a lot of other factors that may affect the result on your end when applying these settings. With that being told, let's now go to our desktop. Alright, now that we are on our desktop, let's now go ahead and open up our QubitTorrent app. Let's maximize the app so that you could clearly see the settings that we are going to apply. Let's now go to the tools and go to the options. And on the options tab, we are going to the connection settings. Make sure that the peer connection protocol is set to TCP and UTP. The listening port, you can just hit the random button here. In some cases that you are not able to proceed with the download, it is possible that your internet service provider or your network administrator might be blocking that particular port. Hence, you are not able to proceed with your download. Next, we need to make sure that you use UPnP slash NAT or NAT. Port forwarding from my router is currently checked right here. And for the connections limit, we are going to double this one. So for the global maximum number of connections, we are going to set this one to 500. For the maximum number of connections per torrent, set this one to 100. For the global maximum number of upload slots, set that one to 20. For the maximum number of upload slots per torrent, set that one to four. And basically we're done on the connection settings. Next, we are going to go to the speed tab and make sure that the global rate limits both the upload and download is not set right here so it's not limited in any way. And also even the alternative rate limits, make sure to set that one also to zero. After that, we are now going to go to the BitTorrent tab right here and make sure that under the privacy, we need to check these options right here. Enable DHT, enable peer exchange, and also enable the local peer discovery. Next. Make sure to set the encryption mode to allow encryption and check this enable anonymous mode. For the maximum active downloads, we are going to set that one to three. For the maximum active uploads, we are going to set that one also to three. And also set the maximum active torrents to five. And we need to check this do not count slow torrents in this particular limits as sometimes those particular torrents that we are downloading are actually slow. So. The other torrents may not actually start due to this particular limits. Hence, if that particular torrent that we're downloading is currently slow, let's say it's 10 KB per second for the download and the upload speed, it will not count that particular slow torrent as a download. Set this torrent inactivity timer, just the default one, 60 seconds. All right, for the most important setting, we need to scroll down right here and make sure to check this automatically add these trackers to new downloads. Then we're going to open the link that I'll be posting in the description. This is the same link for my previous videos as I am updating this page once in a while to have the torrent trackers up to date. Just simply copy all of this particular torrent trackers and then minimize this browser. And then paste on this box right here the links or the trackers that we have just copied a while ago. Lastly, we need to go to the advanced and then under the advanced, we need to scroll down to the bottom until you see the max concurrent HTTP announces. We're just going to set this one to 300. Hit the apply button once done and okay. And we need to make sure that the Qubit Torrent app has been restarted. Hopefully that works out for you. Leave me a short comment down below if it did work or not for you. Again, it's your Tagadud here. See you in my next tech videos.